Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. We're looking back at yesterday's uh, squall line of storms that moved through. And the one tornado warning we did get yesterday um, is being surveyed today for possible damage. And I went back and look at the radar data today to kind of look at see where we had that possible tornado. And I'll kind of show you where I think we had a track or maybe a brief spin up. And if you live in that area, we'd love to see some reports or some pictures or maybe some firsthand reports of what happened. Um, I'm looping it right now, but I'm gonna pause it here. Uh, we'll stop it right here. I'll back it up. And I'm going to zoom in on Gaston County because we had a severe thunderstorm warning with this entire line. But you can see on the left panel, that is your normal reflectivity. On the right panel, that is the velocity or wind data. So in, immediately you can see this is a nasty line. I mean, this is all straight line winds. It's bowing out. It looks like straight line winds here. What happens is it gets closer to 321, Highway 321. We start to see little kinks or little ebbs and flows develop in the storm. And we'll get close to uh, 321 here. So you can see the line has some little appendages or like bulges. Um, and you can see just west of Dallas, I noticed this on our, our camera looking back to the west, big surge of wind. That's really strong wind there, by the way. Um, winds in there probably 70 to 80 miles per hour moving towards the town of Dallas. So we go through time. And right when it gets to Dallas, we notice a couple of things here. On the right, really strong winds. But on the left, the thing you notice, it's very subtle there's a little appendage coming out like this. And again, that's an indication of possibly some kind of uh, push of wind coming out this way. We've got air wrapping back this way. So there's possibly some rotation right there just west of 321. I'm kind of crossing over just on the north side of Dallas. Now, if we go through time, you'll see that little appendage kind of get more pronounced. Look at that. Um, just north of Highway 275, we're west of Stanley, northeast of Dallas. See that right there? That's kind of a mini little hook echo. When you look at this, you could see that coming out like that. That's an indication of circulation. And we see a little bit of that showing up on the velocity data. It gets close to Dallas, I mean, Stanley here. Um, right when it gets to Stanley, we could still see that appendage. But then south side of Stanley, we see some pretty good indications of rotation. Now, where things get interesting, as this pushes to the north and east towards Mountain Island Lake area, um, you start to notice we lose some of the um the wind speed now that's primarily a factor of it being so close to the radar which is the FAA radar here so it's more an artifact of the radar the location in you know, relationship to the radar now the tornado warning extended into Mecklenburg County the survey is going on in Gaston County today but I will tell you honestly I got some reports from Northeast Mecklenburg and the Cabarrus County line of some damage that kind of lines up with this secondary um circulation that looks like it developed briefly just east of davidson and it's right in here and if you look carefully on the right see that right there i got some ground truth from somebody um telling me that when i was on the air pointing this out they heard what sounded like a train and then they saw damage and a flagpole snapped and trees overturned so i don't know if we had a tornado still on the ground or briefly touched down but clearly in that indication into parts of um, northwest Cabarrus County, there was definitely some kind of circulation there. It looked like a little bulge in the line there as well. And then it dissipated. So right there too is the other little question mark. Right there, um, the time frame, 6.32 p.m. Right there, um, just along, what road is that? Shear Road, this is East Rocky River Road. Um, this is Mooresville Road. There was something right there. So, so if we go back in time and we put the track on this, we had basically something maybe from here all the way past Dallas to parts of Stanley. So let's loop this and you kind of see the movement along that line. So I think that's where we had something possibly touch down. Maybe briefly, these QLCS tornadoes spin up quickly, they dissipate quickly. So sometimes it's hard to warn for them. The Weather Service did a great job yesterday. Thank goodness for the terminal Doppler radar, but that's the area being surveyed for a possible tornado track from yesterday's storms.